Hey, good morning and welcome to JK on the Run Mobile Media Edition. This is show number 30. Boy, we're getting old. Well, it's Sunday morning. I'm just relaxing and enjoying my coffee here. Let me put that down for a second and introduce you to two friends of mine. I'm sure that most of you are already familiar with these folks, but we've got Sammy, the original Q1 that I've had since May of last year, and he's joined by Samantha, the Q1P. Uh, word is that they're dating uh, behind closed doors. I don't really know what's going on when they're in sleep mode together, so I'm not going to ask. Regardless, let me introduce you to Samantha here and talk to you about the origami experience. The good folks over at Microsoft on the Project Origami team were kind enough to share with us the origami experience software a little bit before it's going to be available for you guys. Now that comes out around or after January 30th to coincide with the launch of Vista. But what I wanted to do is just give you a quick tour of it because you know what? Words just can't describe it. You need to see it for yourself. So let's wake up Samantha and feel the origami experience. Alright. Here we go. Welcome to the origami experience on Samantha. Just so you know, for the record, Samantha is a Q1P Samsung UMPC. She's running a Pentium one, uh, Pentium at one gigahertz, and she has one gig of RAM. And I only mention that because I'm going to discuss the performance and how well, how well the origami experience actually functions on this device. All right, we're here at the home screen. You see a bunch of things up at the top. We've got a couple of icons. We're going to talk about that. We've got our clock, our close button, minimize button. We've got settings down here, and then we've got music, videos, pictures, and programs. All right. Also, you can see the Windows Media Player 11 interface down towards the bottom. We're going to cover all this as quickly as we can. This is really exciting stuff. First, I'm going to start with the settings, actually. And when I tap that, notice how quickly that just kind of transitions. It's beautiful. You can select your background image nice and quick. Tap, tap, tap. If I miss any taps, it's not Samantha's fault, and it's not the origami experience fault. It is my fault for reaching around a camera here. Anyway, let's choose that one. That kind of looks kind of nice and let's save that and close that. Let's go to music for a second. Here you can see I was playing Mobile Tech Roundup. I'm going to go to our library and you can see the albums that come with the uh, Vista operating system and you can sort these by artist, genre, all music playlists, etc. I love this favorites. You can see I've got motor in there as a favorite. I'm going to remove that. All throughout you're going to see the little origami uh, type icon with a plus or a minus, that's for your favorites, adding it to an org as an origami favorite or removing it. Let's go back to the library and say artists, and here I'm going to tap Mobile Tech Roundup, and you can see I can play. You might not be able to see, it's kind of difficult, the origami with the plus, meaning make this an origami favorite, you can get additional details. I'm going to add this back as a favorite, it disappeared, and now I'm going to hit play. You're listening to Mobile Tech Roundup. Kevin Topol, James Kidry, there you Matt go. Miller, and you can scroll through various music, etc. Notice how I can increase Quiet, the volume and decrease the volume. I can mute. It's all with a finger. That's the amazing part. Not once will you see me use this. I'm just going to throw that aside. Alright, let's stop that for a second. That's our music. We've got videos in here. Go to the library. Uh, let's see all of them. Now, I'm having a problem with my uh, sound card and playing videos for some reason so I can't actually play these for you right now but if I said you see all videos I wanted to show you one of our Jack Hand the Run videos unfortunately I can't do that but it's the same type of concept here we've got the play, we've got the add to origami favorites, we've got the additional information uh, it's very flat, the interface is very flat, you don't have to dig through menu after menu after menu. There's no huge hierarchy here and that's what you want on a small mobile device. Fantastic. Let's go back home. Pictures, we can do pictures. Let's do pictures and before we do pictures I'm going to go back to settings because in the pictures here we've got various transition effects. One of my favorites is this Polaroid transition. Remember those old Polaroid cameras? You used to take a picture and you know you get a print instantly. Of course you'd have to not really instant. You'd have to wave it around and do a little dance, sing a little song, and about two minutes later you'd have an actual instant photo. Here it is instant and it's amazing. We're going to use that first. We're going to keep the 
transition delay at two seconds, so we can go two, five, or ten. We can view the pictures in order or randomly. I'm going to do them randomly. And save this, close this, go back to pictures, and start my slideshow. And when I imported these into Vista's uh, photo viewer, photo gallery, I tagged all these with CES 2007. Take a look at the bottom of all these little virtual Polaroids. CES 2007, along with the number of the print. Hey, there's Peter Rojas. There's UT Starcom. Ooh, the Medion. So once you get a pile of pictures, whoop, see ya. On to the next ones. Is that great or what? Let me show you some of these other transitions, though. Let's go back to settings. And look how fast you can get around here. I mean, it's just amazing. Save, close, pictures, and start the slideshow. That was a bad tap on my part. Here we kind of zoom in and then transition. Zoom. Transition. So basically you can turn this into, your UMPC can be turned into a, a true virtual picture frame now. And you have much more control over things. Which is fantastic. Hey, there's part of James. Stilt walkers at the Microsoft Keynote. A zoom sighting. Awesome. All right. And here you can scroll through pictures rated four or five stars, taking the last month, etc. You've got your library. You've got your favorites. All my CES uh, photos are tagged as origami favorites, which is fantastic. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Programs. Now, this may look a little familiar. This looks more like the original touch pack, but again, don't need this just need this. I noticed that on some of the older, uh, some, of, some of the other parts of the touch pack, when I wanted to change my touch pack settings, for example, I really needed a stylus or I had to have a very precise tap. I note that I don't need to do that here. But here I can open up Internet Explorer. It's one of my favorite blogs. <laughs> I can, I have my favorites, Windows Live, Folder Share, everything's here. That's in my Connect uh, menu. We've got communicate, Windows Mail, meeting space, contacts, we've got entertainment, games, etc. Here we can go into games and we'll open it up. And we could do, oh, I don't know, let's do Minesweeper. It's always fun. I noticed that it's recommended, Microsoft recommends a rating of 2 my system is only a one. I'm not even sure if she opened or not. There she is. All right. Hey, Minesweeper. All right, we'll do that sometime later. Uh, we've got the music folder, videos folder, pictures folder, everything you'd want access to, and then more programs. Important note: Microsoft Reader has been updated and tends to be optimized for the smaller screen now. Unfortunately, I did not download it yet, but I plan to take a look at some point in the future. Hey, we're all familiar with sticky notes. Hello. Notice I'm leaving all my windows open in the background. I'm going to get into that in a minute and tell you why. Let's go to the tools. And another one of my favorite places to go. Yay, Origami Project. Control panel, snipping tool, etc. Love this right here, touch settings. Remember the touch settings in the in the original touchback, you pretty much could turn them on, turn them off. Here, turn them on, restore the default, customize. Look at that. Every single touch setting can be either set to optimized, default, or no change, meaning how you currently have it set up. So you can do this for IE, your start menu, scroll bars, title bar, opening different items, the tip, and the touch pointer. All great stuff. Each one is individually customizable. Great, great, great. And again, look at the transition and the performance. Boom. Awesome. Awesome. Just say OK. All right. I had said earlier I'm leaving all these windows open for a reason. Well, what was the reason? The reason is this right up here. If you take a look, the icon might be hard for you to see with this background. In fact, let me change the background for you. Go back to the more traditional background. Up here, we've got an icon that's the same as the Vista application switcher. Right there you've got one touch access, 
You don't need to get out of the origami experience, but if you want to switch programs, you can do that. You want to go to your desktop, you can do that. Go back to that sticky note, we can do that. I love that. Fantastic. Now, we also got an icon up here for power. Right now I'm plugged into AC. Let me see if I can unplug it. It's going to dim the screen a little bit, but maybe the camera will compensate. That battery meter will then drop and show me how much battery life I have. I'm going to plug this back in so I can see it a little bit better. There we go. Back on AC. And we also, if we tap that, look at that. Windows Mobility Center pops right up. Fantastic. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Here you've got your one-touch access to volume, battery status, your wireless network, external display, sync center, presentation settings. If I want to talk about my, or touch my button right there for the sound, let me get out of the little bit here. Again, it's all one touch. Go to my power options, one touch. It's all in here within the origami experience because they wisely, the team wisely, made that icon an actual workable, usable uh, shortcut. Same goes for our Wi-Fi. I only have two bars right now, which is kind of odd, because I'm pretty close to my router, but boom, there we go. I can get right into my wireless network settings. I guess I should change that Linksys G to something a little different. But right here, a lot of power right here up at the top of the bar. Fantastic. And again, not a lot of hoops to jump through. It's all right here. And notice I've been tapping. I keep missing the screen. Oops, I've got to close that first. Everything is quick. Home, music, home, pictures, slideshows, library, tags. It's all here. It's all quick. It's all usable. Just what you want on a mobile device. So there you go. Stay tuned because the Origami Experience, from what we know, should be downloadable on or around January 30th. I would stay tuned to the... Actually, I'll tell you where you can stay tuned to. I would stay tuned right here at theorigamiproject.com. And you know what? Your best backup might be that one right there. We'll keep you in touch, keep you informed. Stay tuned for the origami experience on your Vista device. Thanks, everybody.